Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna to be getting some new fish to go in my 125 gallon tank. So basically, if you guys remember about two weeks ago, there was an ick outbreak in my 75 gallon aquarium. And luckily, all the fish are now back in good health. The ick has completely cleared up. But as you can see there, the fire mouth is being completely aggressive to the other fish in this tank, mainly Kobe the blood parrot and our redhead cichlid. Look at that. He's chasing Kobe down right now. So before this ick outbreak happened, Kobe was the aggressor and the boss of this tank. But Kobe got a really bad case of ick in that whole situation. And I think the fire mouth like sensed weakness in her and completely turned the aggression on her. I mean, look at that. Whenever the lights are on in this tank, he is constantly chasing her around. So basically I want to get the fire mouth cichlid out of our 75 gallon tank and into our 125 gallon. I think he's definitely big enough to hold his ground against the black belt and the pike cichlid. But I don't want to put him in this tank alone. I want to get at least one other fish to go in this tank with him just to take the attention off of him so he doesn't get singled out by the fish already in here then we are going to take these two fish out of this tank temporarily and rescape it but yeah like i said i do want to get a brand new fish for this tank and it has to be big it has to be at least like five or six inches so it can hold its ground against the other fish and what kind of fish are we getting today i don't exactly know i hope it's an oscar oscar is definitely my first choice i've been wanting another one of those for a while now but i called up the nearest local fish store and they don't have any oscars so we're probably gonna have to go to a few different stores and if we just can't find an oscar anywhere then we'll just settle for something else maybe a bigger size texas cichlid maybe another blood parrot i wouldn't mind getting a big old blood parrot so we're pretty much just gonna see what we can find but hopefully we can come home with an oscar and yeah with all that being said i'll see you guys at the fish store All right, guys, well, I came to this store looking for an Oscar, and an Oscar is what I'm leaving with. And it's a big boy, to say the least. They had real small Oscars, two inches maybe, which were like fine if we were getting it for the 75 gallon, but that was not what we were looking for today. I knew we had to get one that was at least like five, six inches, so it doesn't get picked on by the black belt and pike cichlid. And now, $40 later, I am leaving with the biggest fish that I've ever owned. I mean, if we just take a look at this Oscar, you'll obviously get a better look when he's in the tank. He is beautiful. The orange on him is just awesome awesome i knew i wanted if i was getting an oscar i knew i wanted a black one because i do want to get another white one like an albino oscar but i want to grow that one out i want that to go in the 75 first and grow it completely out until we can put it in the 125 but today i did want to get one straight away to put in the 125 and this thing's probably about as long as ike he's probably nine to ten inches but this dude is thick let me tell you he was actually the smallest of the three oscars in the store and he just happened to be the only black one so i am just so excited to get this guy into the tank big shout out to tropical world World pets this is an awesome store feel free to check them out they have some awesome fish in there i'm definitely going to be back here soon they had a uh like a black ghost knife fish then they had one of those awesome like hybrids between a parrot fish and a flower horn like a short body flower horn so cool then they had a couple gars which i definitely want as well and then also at this store i've seen arowanas red tail catfish so we're definitely going to be coming back here soon to get some more exotic fish yeah i can't wait to get this guy into his tank so we're going to get this guy home and i'll see you when we get there all right guys so we are back from the fish store and and we've got our Oscar right here. Look at the colors on this guy. I can't even hold this bag up. It's so heavy with all the water and all the fish in this bag. I mean, look at this dude. He is a tank and we are going to go ahead and get him in this tank to start acclimating. We are still going to do a few things before we put him in this tank, but might as well just let him start acclimating and let's see the size. Oh, he's actually not that bad. I mean, he is definitely massive and definitely the biggest fish I own, but I thought he was just going to look ridiculously big in this tank. So that's good. He's honestly like the perfect size. Should not get any trouble from the other two fish in here and look at that i can bruce our like who the heck is that guy i cannot wait to release him into this tank so the first thing we need to do is get all this wood out of this tank because we are going to catch the pike cichlid and black belt cichlid out of this tank before we put the new oscar in and i've explained this before what this essentially does is when i put them all in the tank at the exact same time it feels like a new tank to them so they won't have any like territories and they won't get territorial whenever the other fish come near them so again we're just getting this wood out of here so it's easier to catch the other fish fish all right and there we go now i'm gonna get some of this tank water into a bucket and now we're gonna go ahead and catch the fish out of here got ike right here oh my gosh get in there buddy just got absolutely soaked and now we just gotta catch bruce there we go got him there we go. Hard part is done. Now we're going to go ahead and rescape this tank. First of all, I want to level out the sand. Bruce, my black belt cichlid, loves digging in the sand. So we definitely want to reset his little mound here. He'll probably be upset with me for that. But we don't want him getting territorial. So we're just going to reset this tank. All 
All right, you guys, so now that the 125 gallon tank is scaped, I'm now gonna go ahead and scoop the Firemouth Cichlid out of our 75 gallon tank and put him in his own bucket. And then we're gonna acclimate the Firemouth, the Pike Cichlid, and the Black Belt Cichlid to the 125. And then when they're all acclimated, they'll be ready to go into the tank. But like I said, let's go ahead and scoop the Firemouth out of that tank. There we go. Got him. All right, you guys, so we've got our fire mouth right there and then our black belt and pike cichlid right there. And now what we're gonna do to acclimate these guys is get a scoop of tank water and dump it into each of their buckets every few minutes. And then here in about 15, 20 minutes, they'll be ready to go into their new tank. So I'll see you then. All right, you guys, so it has now been 15 minutes. Our fish are acclimated and ready to go into their tank. So we're gonna start adding them in and we are gonna start with our fire mouth cichlid just cause he's the smallest. I want him to get first dibs on the tank and there he goes. And now next up, I actually want to put the black belt cichlid in and there he goes. And now we are gonna go ahead and put in our new tiger Oscar. I am so excited to see him swimming freely in this tank. So I'm actually gonna net him out of his bag. All right, I got him. And this dude is super chill. He was like this at the pet store, just kind of Relaxing, but there he goes into the 125 gallon tank. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful fish. All right, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and get Ike in there and then we can look at this fish. All right, so I've got Ike right here. He is not as friendly as the Oscar was, but there he goes. All right, now let's get all these lids on and let's see what happens. We got our Oscar cruising through the middle of the tank. Just look at how beautiful that fish is. Oh, it looks like the black belt's following him, going to check him out. Let's see if anything happens. They honestly aren't that different in size. The black belt is huge, the Oscar is just, huger. <laughs> then we got our fire mouth and our pike cichlid hiding under this piece of wood. But yeah, our Oscar's just cruising around. But what I'm going to do now is actually turn off all the lights in the fish room. So it's pitch black in here and this also helps whenever you add new fish to a tank. So we're going to leave all the lights off for about an hour or so and then we'll come back down here, turn all the lights back on and then watch for a little bit and see if they all get along. As I always do, I'm going to watch this tank for a very long time, make sure everyone gets along. And if they don't, then we'll probably just return the Oscar. But hopefully we don't need to do that. I don't think we will. At the pet store, this Oscar Oscar shared a tank with bigger fish and also smaller fish. He left all the smaller fish alone from what I saw. And there was actually a huge black belt cichlid in his tank at the pet store. So I believe everything's gonna go fine with this new fish. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. And with that being said, I'll see you guys back down here in about an hour. Alrighty guys, so it has now been about three hours actually, and I've had the light on for about 10 minutes now, and I've been watching them. And everything seems to be going pretty well so far. No one's really bothering the Oscar. He's not bothering anyone. Obviously, they've been checking each other out a little bit, but they are not biting at each other, chasing each other. As far as the new Oscar goes, everything is going perfect. However, we might have some problems brewing with our fire mouth. While I was watching them, I did see Bruce chasing down the fire mouth a couple times. It wasn't like too bad. He didn't catch him and bite him or anything, but he was chasing him. So if that continues, I'll probably just just end up putting the fire mouth back in the 75 until we can figure out something else to do with him. Or maybe when I put him back in there, they might just start getting along again because he spent all this time in this other tank. He might just stop being aggressive if we have to put him back in there. But I'm still going to give him a chance in the 125. I'll probably leave him in there overnight and see if it's better in the morning. But yeah, I am very happy that no one's bothering the Oscar and that he's not bothering anyone. It is a super beautiful fish and I'm really hoping that he can stay in this tank with these guys. And so far, it's looking like he'll be able to. But now we are just going to give all these fish more time to get used to the tank, to get used to each other. I'll probably give you guys an update tomorrow morning and then maybe like another update when the Oscar starts eating. So with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and let's go ahead and check in on all of our cichlids. As you can see, our Tiger Oscar is doing well. I've spent a lot of time watching this tank and from what I've seen, there's nothing really going on to be worried about. He's getting along fine with the Black Belt and the Pike Cichlid. He has had a couple standoffs with Ike, but nothing too serious. That's just what's going to happen when you put a new cichlid in a tank. They're going to kind of feel each other out and get to know who's the boss of the tank. And I'm assuming it's still going to be that guy right back there. So yeah, the new Oscar is doing great in the 125 gallon tank, but unfortunately I did have to remove remove the Firemouth Cichlid from that tank. I put him back in the 75 gallon and when I did that I rearranged the decorations in here and also added a new cave there in the middle and I put a bunch more rocks in there as well and then I also lowered the temperature of the heater from about 79 to like 75 and that cooler water actually makes the fish less active and less aggressive and so far it's working great. You can see our Firemouth is there in that new cave and I've also spent a lot of time watching this tank and everything is literally going perfectly in here. The Firemouth is completely leaving everyone alone so that is just awesome. You can see 
Kobe back there, as well as our Pictus catfish and two silver dollars. You guys may notice after the whole ick outbreak, I only had one silver dollar left. But while that outbreak was going on, I did actually pick up a new silver dollar. He was all alone at the pet store and I did quarantine him in this tank for 10 days. And I just added him to this tank like two days ago and he immediately buddied up with the other silver dollar. And we are definitely going to be getting them some more silver dollar friends as well. And then also one of my next videos is going to be us restocking this 75 gallon tank with more American cichlids. I'm probably filming that tomorrow actually, but we're going to need to quarantine them for one or two weeks. So you guys will see some new fish for the 75 in the next couple weeks. Oh, and then one last thing in my last video, I did set up a new 55 gallon turtle tank for my three turtles. And I finally saw Junior basking for the first time this morning. And I got a little clip of that. So I'll be rolling that right now. So yeah, everything's going great here in the fish room. In the next video, we're going to be setting up that 40 gallon tank for my flower horn Pluto. Cannot wait to get started on that. And yeah, today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm going to see you in the next video.